wondering where I, where I am, we're in this silly get up tonight, right? Yeah. Well, no. somebody. We all know, Don. Somebody <laughs> has suggested that I do a Scottish sword dance this evening. And I think if we're going to give talent, uh, prizes out for talent this evening, the, the uh, talent prize ought to go to the individual who thought this up. <laughs> but their, their imagination and creativity is, uh, exceeds my talent. <laughs> Uh, if you know anything about the Scots, they're a warlike people, a uh, very feudal in nature. Uh, their clans were always fighting each other for control of territories and anything else they could control. Uh, as a matter of fact, the, the kilt designates the certain clan in which you belong to. And um, it was a symbol of, of the feudalism that, that was in place. And it was um, to the detriment of, of the Scots that they, after their defeat at Culloden in 1745, uh, that the British uh, uh, prohibited them from wearing the kilts uh, for almost a hundred years uh, because of the, they figured it uh, uh, promoted their, their warlike uh, talents and abilities. Uh, so the sword dance is, is associated with war, okay, and it's normally uh, done by a male member, uh, a male warrior in the clan uh, on the night before the eve of the, uh, the battle. Uh, and it, you know the Scots didn't have soothsayers that cut open chickens to examine the entrails. Uh, they they danced around the sword, uh, and supposedly if they were able to do this successfully without uh, touching the sword, then they were going to have a, a good battle. Well, Kathleen, uh, I hope this is no uh, uh, prophecy of the things to come because of my talents. Uh, this is probably not going to be very good. So uh, I hope it does not, doesn't prophesy anything in your future. <laughs> So uh, bear with me and we'll try to do this. Yeah, he won the championship three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first attempt. The first person to laugh. I hope. Thank <laughs> you. 